Kurt Osiander, and this is your move of the week. This week we're gonna invert and take someone's back off the lasso hook, and I'm gonna use Jake here, who's actually a Howie here in California. <laughs> it's fucking Howie, man. We're not the Howie here. Put this leg down. So here off the up open guard here, I scoot my hip out always to make an angle and I keep my elbows close to my body because this is where my arms are strong. I make angle because I am not flexible. So I move and my focal point is to kick my own knee and I slip the lasso in. I'm gonna go reverse De La Hiva right here and if you want, you can go right here in front of his shin with the back of your hand. I'm gonna get elevation and I'm gonna start to spin under and try to sweep him. And usually the guy doesn't want to fall, so as he passes over, I'm gonna grab his pants, bring my knees in, and take his back. Then I can choke him and go to the arm lock. This is a cool move for little people. I'm not a little person, so I need a really huge person to do it to. So here, Get four grips. Stop it, Nick! Bag it! <laughs> Scoot your hip. Pass the hook. Look, your focal point is to kick your own knee. Put the lasso. I put the reverse de la Eva. I'm gonna push up and reach through at the same time and spin. I'm gonna start to use the lasso and the hook and bring them all the way through. Flick that in. Take his back. And then I can choke him or... Knee lock him, because he's a bastard. <laughs> One more time for the stupid people. Angle. Keep your hands... God damn it, bold up. Get your fucking little furry fucking Asian ass out of here. <laughs> Scoot. Pass the lasso. Reverse De La Hiva. Get elevation spin. Look, I'm using the lasso and this. If I need to, I reach the bear. I start to pull him through. Pull him through, pull him through, pull him through. Ah, hook. Take his back. I open the collar. No, Jake, you're choking now. <laughs> no, then it's this one. Ah, oh, true that. True, true that. that. <laughs> and that's your move of the week. Thank all my sponsors. Joey Roll, OTM, Q5, Fire Rhythm, Sign Cars. Clash Clans, Barbary Coos, Power Find. Ah, fuck it. Go train. Uh, hey, I'm Nick Green. Uh, this is my dance move of the week. So I've shown a lot of uh, great dance moves. So I'm going to show a back handspring. It's more gymnastics, but uh, it's just good to uh, you know, be used to going on your hands and doing handstands. So for back handspring, you basically, it's like a backwards dive, and you want to go backwards and shoot backwards to go in your hands. So back handspring essentially looks like this. Like there. So you're pretty much hopping. It's like a backwards dive. Usually it's good to have a friend that can spot you. So a lot of the time, um, a lot of times, the friends will make a bridge, hold their hands and go lower and when you do a back handspring you fall you shoot back and then they catch you so it helps you get better form by sort of helping you dive back so again if you're going slow you just get used to falling back and then they help you over and the more you get confidence in doing it you can shoot back so so you're used to going backwards without their support. So when they're gone, you can safely shoot back 
I just fall back like that. Usually train, try and do it with your partner. Uh, be mindful and careful not to hit your head. Better in like a tumbling uh, gym gymnasium. Uh, but yeah, over time you get that and it'll get you really good at go, you know, diving backwards. And uh, yeah, it's just a nice little thing to have in your dance arsenal. So uh, that's my move of the week. Yes.